So okay, so here just um uh, here recently, man, like about a week or two ago. Let's go. Um, so Charles, I gotta tell a story about what actually happened, right? It please so let me hear Charles it. Mike was out here in Dallas, Texas, right? Uh -huh. Um and 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 I know, man, when people bring up Charleston White name, <coughs> it's always to you know bash them and things right. like that, right? Right. right. Um, I want to put out the story about what he was actually doing out there in Dallas, Texas. Okay. You know, he was actually out there at a football game. Okay. And uh, with the Pee Wee League, you know, football team, right? Facts. Um, I don't know which team it was, but shout out to them. Right. Um, and when he was out there, basically, you know, with Charleston White. Um, with his industry, uh, his status that he done hit now in the industry, mm -hmm. he was really out there a little too long. You know what I'm saying? That okay. that that's that gives you time for people to they can call somebody. Right. You know, somebody can put the drop on you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people like Charleston White, then a lot of people hate Charleston White. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now he what happened was he was at a, a, a after the football game he went to a store. Right, um, I, and I seen him talking about this. Right, he right. said he went to the uh, he went to the store, and uh, he said basically what he was trying to do he was trying to pull out from the store. Okay, and I guess he ended up hitting like a pothole or something like that. You okay. know what I'm saying? But let's keep in mind now, he was out there supporting the kids. Okay, you okay. know, um, and and. and and I ain't gonna lie to you. Like I know a lot of people say something's gonna happen to Charleston White and <clears throat> stuff like that, man. Uh, but like you said, when you're talking about, you know, saying somebody, it has to be a message. Right. You know what I'm saying? Some right. people gonna get some good stuff out of them, then some people gonna get some some negative shit out of them. <laughs> you know. Uh, right. But my question is, what's some advice, man, that uh, streetwise that you can give? Cause I, I did see in the interview that he did, he was saying that he's gonna start moving smarter. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And then I seen one that he was talking about when he was in Atlanta, right? Mm. Uh, basically, what had happened, he was at this place eating, sitting down at mm. a restaurant, right. and some people, you know, I guess some people was out there, you know, they had a, you know, they had a gun out there, you know, he said he mm. think they was out there waiting for him and shit like that, you know mm. what I'm saying? But, you know, just his level and his status of what, what he done hit now, you know, you have to start moving smarter, though, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, Charleston White, do, he do do some, some good things for the community, for the kids, and things like mm -hmm. that, man. What's some advice, man, that you can give to him, man? Just, you know, because, you know, he he's one of them people that he going to wow, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. if you take him there, he's going to hit that internet, and he's going right. to he gonna try to rip you apart. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, people see, want their smoke when they see you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, no, like, get it. Yeah, what, what's some advice, man, that you can give to Charleston? You know, because when he was out there, man, yeah. I ain't going to lie to you. Like, um, I seen, like I said, I seen the interview. And I was like, dude was scared for real. Mm -hmm. Like, homie was scared. Like, you know, all bullshit to a side now. Not me, fuck the internet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, bro was scared for real. You can hear it in his voice. Yeah. And it seemed like he was having flashbacks of, about the moment. Bro was scared for real. Like, he mm -hmm. probably thought he was going to die right then and there. Okay. Um, my advice for Charles, man, man, be careful the company you keep, man. Um, watch, watch the people that your surroundings, man. Um, I'm gonna tell you something that, that that really fucked me up, man. Um, I never go nowhere with you, homie. We get into it, a nigga put a gun on you, and I don't do nothing to him. Got me fucked up, nigga. I ain't gonna never go nowhere with you, a nigga talking shit to you, nigga. And you with me, and we don't do nothing to him. If it's cause for, uh, and I know that's how we rocking. These niggas that you rocking with, nigga, I know you're not walking around with niggas that ain't got nothing on them. But but, but I mean, but they with you, but you. You talk, you know, you know your line of work. Right. You know your line of work. The, the, the people you need to have around you, the people that you know gonna move for sure, nigga, fuck some fucking fight, nigga. Nigga shit, nigga had one time to yell, nigga got a gun. Nigga got a gun. Nigga, what? I'm gonna start burning them niggas' ass up. I got probable cause. Uh, know your love. You know you walking around, you walking around with niggas, man. Them niggas ain't gonna, that, that fuck me up. I'm like, damn, it's part of them. Them niggas ain't even saying that. He doing all the talking. Yeah. But y'all with him. And we just left a football game, you know, doing what we doing for come here, man. Ain't nobody got no business fucking with him, cuz. That's what I'm gonna be saying, cuz. Say, man, we just left a man. Y'all catch him on somewhere else, nigga. But I say he with me right now, niggas. Yeah. I'm a real nigga like that. Niggas right. don't move like that. Right. Niggas, you, we gonna shit. When you get caught, oh shit, they will be standing there looking, seeing what's finna happen now. Like I seen niggas doing that was with him. Cause why you ain't saying nothing? Cause he saying 
He doing all that rah rah, and he ain't, and he ain't starting the shit. It's a difference. It's a difference when somebody trying to get at you. Or a real nigga gonna be like, come on, chill, let's go, nigga. Come on, man, get in the car, let's go, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck them niggas, man. Them niggas ain't talking about shit, bro. Let's go, man. Come on, get in the car, man. Niggas on some whole shit. Let them niggas be on some whole shit. You ain't got to entertain them niggas. That's a real nigga gonna tell you. Or he gonna help you out when it get gangster. Or we don't have no choice but to defend ourselves now. Other than that, let's go, cuz. That's what a real nigga gonna say. Look at y'all. Come on, let's go, bro. We can do that, nigga. Shit, we know we ain't even. We just left the game. We sure can't fuck it up like that. Yeah. You understand me? Shit like that. Just like leaving church, going to the whole house. You hear me? Um, be careful what the niggas you got around you. That's what I can tell them. Because sometimes when you lose your marbles, boss, <laughs> when you lose yours up here, uh, somebody got a baby around you that can thank for you. Because you already know I'm a hothead, nigga. I already know how I get it. I get out here, y'all give me down here, I get on me a drink. Who gonna watch out for me? That's what you need to ask yourself. If I get out here, who gonna watch out for me besides God? Right. Besides God, we got we, we he coming with us anyway. We bring him in prayer. Yeah. Uh, he already with us, but um, who gonna watch out, man? Come on, make sure not not no fuck some partners. Fuck some partners, cause shit, partners do. I just seen some new shit when they get gangster. I just seen what some partners to do, cause I heard you yeah that nigga put a gun on me. He put and your partners didn't goddamn me shit, nigga. But now now motherfucker put no gun on my partner. And I'm sitting right there. Yeah. Hey, you talking about nigga? You crazy as a motherfucker. Uh, message. You hear me? Shit. Come on, man. Oh, come on, man. Don't do me like that. Okay, 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 okay. That's all you do. It's the difference between loyalty and love, man. Loyalty and love. When a nigga loyalty to you, shit, that mean, you know, they gonna be there for you. When they love you, shit, they gonna stick by you. You dig what I'm saying? It's a difference. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, now you might got niggas around you that you feel like loyal to you, man. You dig what I'm saying? Shit, these niggas loyal, you, but shit, do they love you? Cause I'ma tell you something. And nigga, nigga, nigga can't never harm or disrespect nobody that I love around me. You hear me? Yeah. Shit, nigga, my loyalty won't let them do it, <laughs> boss. Yeah. <clears throat> my love show ain't gonna stand for it, yeah. boss. You dig what I'm saying? That's in no type of way. Look at me, I'm the type of nigga, I don't give a fuck. Let me tell you something about me, man, about my kids. I knew my kids be wrong. I know these motherfuckers wrong. You know what I do? I still, I'm on their side. I'm hollering when they get to the hell. I'm not gonna make them know, just fuck them up in front of everybody. Yeah. Understand me, huh? But when I get them to their self, I'm gonna let them know, man, you know you wrong with a motherfucker for that, bro. No, no, never put me in a situation like that again, man. Say, when I see niggas won't move like I move, guess what? I'm not gonna be around, you're not gonna be around me. Learn that much. If nigga, you gotta ask yourself this. Will they do for you what you would do for them? Yeah. Would you would, would that nigga you ask yourself that? Would that nigga do the same thing I would he do that for me? Same thing I do for him? Once you figure that out, your, your circle will get a little smaller. Right. You know, you know, really, nigga, shit, nigga, only nigga, you can trust that you. Now, I don't give a fuck. I'm not on no friend bashing. I ain't talking about the, uh, uh, you know, you know, you know, yeah. you, you know, him. I ain't talking about him. But anyway, I'm just talking about anybody in between and anybody in general, nigga. You understand me, uh? That's how we rockin', nigga, uh. That's the only advice I got for Charles, man. Fuck eyeball. Yeah. Balls. Mm-hmm. <laughs>